Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today, let me show you how to get a refund from iTunes. There are many reasons you may want to get a refund from iTunes. For instance, you may have purchased an app and found that it doesn't work on your iOS device. Let me walk you through the steps. So the first thing you want to do is you want to check in your email for the receipt that you should have gotten from iTunes. Sometimes it takes a few hours or even a couple of days to get a receipt because iTunes likes to group a lot of things together. Then you look in the receipt for the item that you purchased and then you'll find that there's a link right there that says report problem. Click on that link. Alternatively, you can go into iTunes and if you go into the iTunes store, you can go up to the upper right corner and click on your account information here. You may have to log into your account. Once you do that, you get a little drop down menu and you can choose account to go to your account page. From there you'll see some basic account information. You want to click on purchase history. Then you get a list of items that you've recently purchased and a larger list at the bottom that uh, shows you just about everything you've purchased. Find the item, usually by date, and click on one of the arrows to the left to jump to that purchase. Now you've got a list here of everything in that and you may have a lot of free items if you've gotten a lot of free apps and you have the one application that you want to get a refund for and you'll see that it's got a price there. What you want to do is press the report a problem button at the bottom. Once you do that you'll get report a problem listed next to every item there. You want to click on the one next to the item that you want a refund for. This takes you to a screen like this and then you want to click on the problem type and choose from one of the different uh, reasons listed. And once you do that, then you want to fill out the comment. You want to make sure in your comment that you ask for a refund and be very polite. A real human on the other end is going to read this and decide whether or not to give you a refund for your purchase. Now keep in mind that you're not entitled to a refund. That's according to the terms and conditions that you agree to when you bought from the iTunes store. So if you do get a refund, it's somebody at iTunes doing you a favor. If you've got an app and it's just not working for your device, you should try to contact the developer first. They may have a fix for it or suggestion or maybe a new version just around the corner that fixes your problem. If you purchase something by accident or maybe your kid had your iPhone and purchased something without you knowing, well, that's a mistake on your part. And don't expect iTunes to give you a refund, although they may. It doesn't hurt to ask. Thanks to Michael for the suggestion for this topic. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.